Welcome to the channel. In this video, we will see how we can buy some stocks for long term using Fire's web trading platform. So here what I have done is I have logged into my Fire's web trading platform and before buying the stock for the long term, first what we do is we will make sure that we have enough funds available in our Fire's web trading account. So here I'm going to uh, expand this dashboard and then we will go to funds here we can see available balance now whatever amount that you want to invest that should be available here as available balance if it is not available then you guys can add funds if you want to know how to add funds to fires trading account then i have a tutorial link will be available in the description box now after making sure that we have enough balance in our fires trading account the next thing that we do is we will open up the chart of the stock that we want to buy so here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create a new at list create new list and uh, i will say investment and i'm gonna save that now here we will click on this add symbol and here today i'm buying some stocks of itc so i'm gonna search for itc in here and uh, we can see itc has been listed in both nsc and bsc i'm gonna select nsc if you want you guys can select bsc also it doesn't matter so here what you have to do is you have to add the stock that you want to buy for long term to the watch list and after that if you click on this uh, symbol name then uh, the chart of that particular symbol will be opened now you guys can see here we can see the itc chart and then we can straight away see here sell and buy buttons and to buy this stock we will click on this buy a buy window will appear and here uh, the exchange from which it will buy will be the exchange uh, that you have selected while adding the stock to the watch list i have uh, chosen nsc so this stock will be bought from nsc now after that uh, here we can see latest price and uh, ask price now here first we will select the regular order type and then we need to select whether we are buying for intraday or cnc intraday is nothing but we buy the stock today and by the end of today's trading session we have to sell that stock or you know we can uh, do the reverse also first we can sell and then by the end of the trading session we have to buy the stock and if you're buying for intraday then uh, we will get some margin which is nothing but let us say if you want to buy stocks of worth 10,000 rupees for intraday then uh, you don't need to have 10,000 rupees in your account depending on the brokers you will get some leverage and you will be able to buy stocks with uh, less money but here we will select cnc which is nothing but cash and carry so we are paying all the money to buy the stock and if we select cnc in here then we have the option to sell the stock whenever we want if you want to sell the stock today only then we can do that or if you want to sell the stock after 10 years you know we will be able to do that so we will select cnc and after that at what price we want to buy the stock whether we want to buy the stock at whatever the price that is available in the market or we want to buy the stock at some particular price here we can see some options uh, we will talk about market and limit if we choose to buy the stocks at market price then at whatever the price someone is selling in the market we will be able to buy the stock uh, for that particular price if we select limit then we can enter the price at which we want to buy the stock for example i can say 215 in here if i place the order now if someone sells the stock for 215 rupees then i will be able to buy stock it will not guarantee that we will get the stock because in order to buy someone has to sell at this particular price okay here we will go for market at whatever the price someone is selling in the market we will buy it now when you're choosing market price make make sure that it has uh, enough liquidity that is more people are selling and buying and also more quantities are traded okay after that here we can specify the quantity how many quantities that we want to buy here for the demonstration purpose i'm gonna say 10 quantities 
and uh, once i do that here we can see the margin required which is nothing but the amount that we have to pay in order to get the uh, this much quantity of this stock so here uh, if you see this then we are paying complete amount now here if i choose intraday now you guys can see margin required has changed i can buy 10 quantities of uh, itc at this moment for intraday just by paying 445.4 rupees but if i want to buy it for cnc that is for holding then i have to pay all the amount which is around 2226 rupees now if we select this market price then uh, if we click on this refresh icon the uh, margin required will change because the market price will change uh, for every second so now after making sure that all these uh, values are entered properly we can click on buy now it says uh, order has been placed and order has been executed now if i expand dashboard then if we go to positions we can see the stock that we have bought so we have bought 10 quantities of itc uh, from nsc now the stocks that we have bought today will appear in this positions section for the current trading day from next day onwards we can see that in the holdings section so if you go to holdings then uh, we will be able to see the stocks from tomorrow onwards if you like this video hit the like button if you don't like it hit the dislike button if you want to say something then uh, write that in the comment box for more tutorials like this do subscribe to the channel